Hello, this is a short tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set up simple DLP in a few steps. DLP is a general approach how you can protect your sensitive data. SafetyCAD DLP is possible to configure in two ways, simple or advanced. The main difference is that advanced DLP focuses on classified data and requires longer time for configuration. With simple DLP, you are able to protect data in a few steps and control data channels independently on classification. Simple DLP consists of following parts Supervisor, Channel Control, Discard, Device Control, Reporting and Alerts. So let's take a closer look to the first feature, Supervisor. With Application Control, you can manage users' access to desktop or Windows Store application. For example, a customer asks you to block all potentially dangerous categories such as alternative browsers and miners. Web Control Web Control feature offers the ability to control the access to specific websites. We recommend to limit users' access to dangerous websites where malicious code can appear. For these sites, we have created following categories Proxy Webs, Illegal, Malware and Pornography. Discard. Discard feature offers the ability to deny the access to local drives and local or network path. The most common scenario is to restrict users from using non-work related cloud clients. You can simply decide whether access to these clients is going to be in denied, read-only or allowed mode. Device control. Device control feature offers the ability to allow or deny the usage and access to various types of external devices. As first step, we recommend to create a zone where all essential devices for users' workflow are going to be defined. Then you can simply allow them at the upper side of the setting list. At this step, you can decide how SafetyCAD will manage other devices which are not part of allow list. The most common setting is following. Channel control presents an easy way to set up data flow restriction for the most common communication channels. Those are emails, file upload, instant messaging and external devices. You can simply define which channels can be used for data sharing and once there are some allowed, you can still decide whether it can be used without any limitations or if the content of the file is going to be inspected on sensitive keywords or regular expressions. As for any other feature, there might be creating of exception inevitable. Therefore, we've created a dedicated zone to which you can be redirected using edit save zone button or you may use tab zones in the menu. Now you can define the sensitive content. At the top there are already predefined switches which will automatically inspect content of the file on selected expression. In the second area you can define sensitive keywords and regular expressions. The information how to create your own regular expression can be found in our knowledge base. Once you have sensitive expressions defined, you can set the boundary which will help you to distinguish when 
is file sensitive, an operation is going to be evaluated based on your policies and when not. When you have all prerequisites ready, you can start with setting up policies. To block the specific channels in general, move switch to deny. Notify to inform users what is going on and let them decide. And testing to see in visualization info about data flow via these channels without any restriction applied on users. Then you can decide what will safety card do in case when sensitive file is being sent. As last option, you can use created zone of exceptions and let sensitive data to be even with restrictive policies sent to define destination. The most common policies are following.